So today I want to represent my Vietnamese people because I'm Vietnamese and I just don't just want to do all the other Asian and leave out my uh, people, right? Asian power or whatever that shit is. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to talk about there are two artists um, that I listened to um, that I really liked and I uh, the this singer, he represent um, uh, Vietnamese people, right? That's what he said in his uh, video interview because I wanted to put uh, my people in my YouTube channel because um, is who I am. I listen to also not just uh, other Asian musics, not just other uh, R&B or hip hop. It doesn't matter. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to watch uh, very, uh, very old, uh, what was it, they would call it Galoon, meaning Oprah, Vietnamese Oprah, where, uh, you know, older Vietnamese people would watch, right, my mom watched that, anyway, um, there's two, uh, Vietnamese artists I would listen to as, when I was younger, I would listen to, his name is Andy What, and, uh, it's basically, he used to be in the group of, uh, uh, V-pop, right, Vietnamese pop, and then they would have, um, uh, there's this, uh, uh, Vietnamese singer named Kak Ting. she's a singer, and I would, uh, Vietnamese people would watch, uh, Paris by Night, or these, uh, Vietnamese, uh, either, uh, Vin Sun, right, and, um, they have MC Yik Tao, um, anyway, so, MTP, uh, MTP, uh, he said Thung, because I listened to his, he's basically, I think he's, uh, uh, North Vietnamese, or we, we would call him Baki, maybe, right, Nor, um, so my, uh, so I was listening to his interview, he said, well, I think as we're doing what we love to do, so you always gotta do what you love to do, I think that it has, like, in my opinion, I can't just do, um, like, either the law of attraction or personal development or always book a review. I need, like, some type of variety in my, uh, um, channel because I, I hate doing the same thing over and over and it bores the f, f out of me, um, or whether I need to change something up, right? And it would kill me if I keep doing the same thing. It's just like most people... Um, if they do what they hate and they try to endure, they will hate that for the rest of their life. And you have to find, you have to combine something. It's like, uh, why I pick certain things. Um, there's things that I pick, um, to share with people because I think that it, it can provide, uh, value, right? I think that too many often time, like for example, like adults, they if they hate anime or they bash on anime or, you know, other Asian, you know, who don't see the world that I see in anime, they would never gravitate toward anime because they don't understand it until I bring that unique um, uh, value or the thing that I share to you to see that there is a variety of things that people uh, don't understand and they bash it because they don't understand, right? They bash it. Right, they don't see because oftentimes when people are in a particular thing, they're very close-minded. They close off. Um, it's like if you cut off circulation, nothing can get through. So they cut off circulation from others' uh, information or source out there. So they become uh, stagnant. Right, when you have uh, information that you th you already know, it's stagnant. So you won't grow. You won't see a different way. Uh, and, and in his interview, he said, we will be happy even when facing difficulty or lots of pressure because we're satisfying our desire. Like when you do what you love, uh, you change it up. And even though you, you will throw, st uh, there will be obstacles and days that you might not feel uh, like you're on fire or your content is on fire. You keep going for that. And he also said, I choose to, in his interviews in the video, he said, I choose to take this path because I wanted to tackle a challenge in many different fields uh, going forward. Uh, 
while he was a student and then they were doing like this uh, intro i guess or at, i don't know in the uh year of high uh, high school in 2012 was already widely known uh for his songs he was the top most search for google vietnam right and he uh also represent vietnam in a uh, voting for the most successful internet southern uh, eastern artist or asia artist uh, he's the singer with the large number of fans in vietnam at the moment that's a good thing because i think that um most people um i rarely see any uh vietnamese people representing or rarely you see vietnamese people um they're very only vietnamese people will only know vietnamese people artists they're not really well known like i would like um the singer andy watt to be really well known um that's the th that's the i think that's the whole problem with vietnamese culture is that they're not doing enough to spread uh our culture to other international uh whether it's china or uh other people like or other countries and that would i want them to be well known or represent because i am vietnamese though sometimes i don't act like it <laughs> everyone has um what was it what damn i can't even write my own handwriting so he said that in his interview you if you want to be uh where no one else can be you have to endure feelings no one else can endure so basically he's saying that if you want to live a life that no one uh, has been has done you have to endure tons of feelings that nobody has to endure like if you live a life that you truly don't want you will have feelings often time that the thing about this is if you want to which pain will you endure right will you endure of creating something that nobody has created before or you want to endure pain that you already been through but it doesn't really move the needle or it doesn't get where you want it to go that's an option that uh, you have to choose for yourself and then he said that in his interview with someone that he uh they interview i have to work as hard as i can for my music every day so you have to create something every day and you have to most people don't like the word hard so they would try to run away from it but i rather because if you see the thing is most people say that i don't want to work hard for the thing that means you don't really love it that means you just want to um because one day you will die right your work you you won't have you won't work um uh the things that you i mean think about it if you really love the thing you would have worked hard for it anyway, and it and time flies, right? And it seemed like uh, it won't mean nothing. Like most people, they don't want to work hard because they don't love it. Like if you love it, you're gonna work hard for it. That that. And he said uh, in his interview, he said to pursue my passion. There's a ton for me to learn from my seniors, those who have walked the path before me. I just want to contribute whatever i can now here's the thing right he say there's a lot of uh tons to learn from uh his senior right those who walk before but the, also for me i think also the senior quote-unquote successful people they can learn a lot of from younger people but they just chose not to right um they talk about i heard about like uh people who quote-unquote uh successful but it used they always say used to work or um and like they won't but the thing is they're not willing to learn um now like they're not willing to adjust like i remember it still dawned on me that the japanese karate guy when he was fighting jet lee in fist of legend he's like you gotta adapt uh uh to your opponent and you will be unstoppable right and that's the problem and one day um that the experienced people because people are you know successful people or anybody who quote unquote uh are proud of their experience one day they will be destroyed by people who are younger than them 
that's what they don't understand. Like, I felt like, uh, because, you know, the Japanese guy, uh, karate guy in the Fist of Legend, he said, when he was fighting Jet Li, he said that experience should fear uh, the youth of strength or whatever, and they should fear it. Too many, uh, um, quote unquote, successful people who are older or senior, um, they said what used to work. Well, they better adapt or the younger generation or younger people who don't have a lot of experience but what they do have is um the naivete the 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 not experience but they're willing to they have a lot of uh, drive and then if they have a lot of drive they will destroy you uh if they have a lot of hunger uh, a lot of because hunger drive so hunger and drive will push you forward and when you're um uh, got nothing to lose, right? You will push through, even through the hard time. Um, let me see. To, uh, what was it? I just want to contribute whatever I can to the development of Vietnam music and entertainment industry. That's what he said in his interviews. Uh, I always want to help Vietnam brand and become more known internationally. Uh, he is a Vietnamese singer and songwriter. So I think that that whatever we choose to go our, our path, that's why I choose to, um, I don't always want to do book reviews, I always don't want to just do Law of Attraction, I just don't want to just do uh, personal development. I somehow wanted to combine who I am, because basically people always throw out the word, oh, Yes, you should let go of the old, which one is, uh, which way is not working, but you should keep who you are, right? Who you are as a person, you can bring to the table, which wasn't there before, and you can bring all aspect, well, the, you can alchemate it into something new uh, for the audience, for people to, uh, to think about, because, you know, uh, because I have experienced uh, the, because um, the mindset is very different the way that the Japanese people view it, the uh, Asian, other Asian people view it, or America or whatever. It's very different, and you somehow gotta combine that. It's like um, uh, they combine new cards with the old card, and they make it more powerful, right? And you somehow to. Uh, be fluent with that. You have to be fluent. It's like, uh, it's like too many people are stuck in the way of how the older forms. That's why Bruce Lee said it's, um, he don't like a fixed form, right? And so he he want uh, no. Uh, I forgot uh, what he said about fixed form. It's a classical mess or something. And so I think you should do the form. It's like in our form. But one day, uh, all the other, one day when I'm like older uh, and probably more experienced, the youth will destroy me. So I think you always should be constantly learning, upgrading. Otherwise, if you think, because oh, uh, it's, um, it's not an option that you, uh, you, you always got to be uh, learning some type of information that help you. To get where you want to go. That's pretty much my thoughts for today. Enemies people.